Motorcycle story with Mandy and Andy. It was a bright and sunny day. A busy little insect decided to get a head start on collecting leaves from a rose plant. This creature darted across the bits of sticks above the decaying leaves and went around the rocks and pebbles. He was going to have a very hectic day. After roving for about five minutes, the insect finally reached a thorny rose plant. He stopped at its base and stared, wondering which of the leaves to select first. He then decided to scamper up what he thought was a main stem. On reaching the top, his pincers were all about ready to cut when he heard. I hope you are not mistaking me for a leaf. My name is Manti. I have been watching you for quite some time darting about. Before the busy little insect could say his name, one big splash sent them both tumbling to the ground. <coughs> what was that? Raindrops. I hate the rain. It stops my family and me from gathering the leaves we need. By the way, my name is Andy. Well, Andy, raindrops are very important to all of us. Manti then shook his head and gently flapped his wings to get the residue of water off his body and said, I come from a family of observers and we have noticed the delicate balance that exists among plants, animals and rainwater. If you come along with me, I can show you. And he thought for only a moment before he readily agreed to go along with his newly found friend. His little curiosity was tapped beyond his control. He wanted to learn so much more about this rainwater. Manti paused for a while and then retorted. For me to explain this to you, we need to take a field trip. Climb up on my back so that we can be on our way. As they fluttered through the city of trees, hanging plants and unsuspecting wildlife, they came upon a nearby pool. Andy was tightly gripping onto Manti's back while in awe. Then he commented, What a large body of water! At the same time, many of the forest creatures came out to drink. The deer, wild boar, <coughs> and some squirrels all needed to be refreshed. After landing on a smooth green leaf, Manti warned. Now, Andy, I would like you to listen and observe very carefully. Every morning, the sun sends out his children sun rays to wake up the earth. As the earth's surface becomes heated by the sun rays, it awakes the water vapor family. The water vapor comes from our ponds, rivers, and seas by a process called evaporation. Some vapor is also produced through plants and trees by another process called transpiration. The vapor family likes to have a big party high up into the sky called a condensation cool down fat. Condensation cool down fat? Sounds like fun! <laughs> Condensation involves the cooling down of the water vapor into water droplets. As they bounce around, they become larger and larger. It's all fun. I didn't know such exciting things happen around us. Yes, they do. Sometimes the water droplets supercools and form ice particles. But that only happens in cold countries that have snow and hail. That's cool! Next, we have the McLeod family. They love to do artwork all over the sky. After all the artwork is completed, they wash everything away. A 
heavy water droplets cannot be held up any longer and are released as rainfall called precipitation. Pre -si -pe precipitation. Yes, Sandy, these raindrops are collected by our streams, rivers, and our seas. It's amazing! Raindrops undergo so many wonderful changes. That's right. Water goes through a series of events we call the water cycle. We call it a cycle because it happens over and over again. So what you are telling me is that the sun rays heat up the earth's surface and the water vapor form goes high into the sky and condenses. They form clouds which release water droplets that fall to us as rain. <laughs> you are quite a good student, Andy. Rain provides all of our plants and animals with the water they need to survive. Imagine, if rain does not fall, plants will not get the water they need to grow new leaves. Okay, I get it. I must tell all my relatives that we must not get angry with the raindrops anymore. That's right. I'm beginning to feel a bit hungry. I think I need some locust stew. See you later. Bye! And so it began. Two creatures of different walks of life started a friendship exploring the wonderful things of nature around them.